Welcome back to the DP Show Audio Visual Club. I'm here with Seton O'Connor. Wait, hold on, let me. I, I don't know if I'm New. Welcome back to the DP Show Audio Visual Club. I'm your host, Andrew Perloff, here with Game of Thrones expert Seton O'Connor. All right. We had a Game of Thrones death pool leading up to the big battle scene. And Season eight, episode three, and looks like uh, Seton proved his title, the expert. You got two out of three. That's not bad. Take us through it. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, Theon, clearly a tragic character. Uh, the only way that he's going out is by some type of horrible death. You knew that was happening. Yeah. Jura. Uh, he died like. He, he died, died the like only way he could go out, which is, you know, defending the lady he loves. Uh, Andrew, you had a great line, though, yeah. about. It wasn't me, it was on Twitter. The first tweet, I looked up. What's the funniest tweet going to be? He goes, Jorah lived as he died. I died as he lived in the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. She didn't even kiss him at the end. No, even like, yeah. I know. Even, all she did was cry over and hold him. And he's like, dude, if he's some type of ghost kiss over him. top, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. the heck? So you had here. Jamie. What was your thinking there? He's got to die. At some point, no, he's got to die. Cersei's got to kill him or vice versa. Right. That was probably a misstep. All right. Brienne of Tarth, that was pure wishful thinking because her plots are really boring. Grey Worm, I had to find out afterwards whether he lived or died. I don't even know what was He's got to die, though. I couldn't figure out, like, what he was doing. Like, every scene that he was in was so at night, and, like, he got lost in all the shuttle. Yeah. She survived. I don't remember her name. Now, Jon Snow, why did I put him in there? That was stupid. Well, because there's, there's a lot of talk about if, if Jon Snow dies, if Khaleesi dies. Yeah. If one of those two, it Sounds feels like, is going to die. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, can I ask you some follow-up questions? Did you at any point think that Sansa and Tyrion were going to get it on? Last yes, yeah, 100%, right. where I'm the like, second... is this not the king and queen, <laughs> the future king and queen right there? I thought they were just going to find like a little like like closet in the vault. And, and that's why it. he felt so bad about not being out yeah. there fighting, because yeah. he's like, I'm trying to win this chick right here. And, so, uh, oh, totally. Yeah. And John, John Snow, by the way, he was kind of lost it. Yeah, like, like what dude, happened to like seven years of badasses? Yeah. All right, so we're, we're skipping the obvious lead here. Yeah. Uh, the Melisandre, the red lady oh, coming out of the dude. dark on horseback. What the hell is that all about? Where did she come from? Where did she come from? And how did she, she came from the wrong side? Yeah. And I, I did you think that Davos was going to kill her or what was going to go on? Uh, I, I felt know. a little more tension in the yeah. other way with Davos where he was sort of like, oh, she's back. I hate her, but I love her. I know. By the but way, another, a little, another, like, a little bit of that late season romance. It's like, well, maybe you won't be dead by the uh, first light. So, what's whatever. your quick review? Did you like the episode? Loved the big it. battle scene. Loved it. So did, far, I'm super into this season. I really we, like it. Yeah. The, the criticism that there was too much shot at night, you couldn't tell what was going on, any of that. No, I felt like I was. It was dark, yeah. but it's night and it's war, and that's kind of what it is, right? You, okay. Can we end by my with my Brand Stark impersonation? Sure. Okay. Ready. It, but it's it. perfect. I, how does he get a paycheck for that? Like, <laughs> you could have done that. Anybody in the Dude, but he did that. stare down the Night King. Like, the Night King comes in all like, the Night King's. Have you read any of the theories that Bran and the Night King had a deal and that Bran tricked him? Oh my what? God. And by the way, whatever happened to Peter Bellish, Littlefinger actually being alive and coming back? Still three more episodes. That's it for the Audiovisual Club. Stay tuned. <laughs>